Hey everyone, I'm here to review the Pyroterra LED moon fans. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about how the Pyroterra moon fans work. Here's what they look like. Obviously, there's two of them. And they're really easy to charge, which I always look for in an LED prop. Um, there's a charging port just right here. It's like a little awkward to, um, to reach it, but it'll take you about two seconds. It takes about one and a half hours to char fully charge them. I haven't tested um, the duration of the battery life, but according to the site, it says it's about one hour at full brightness and 18, up to 18 hours at um, the lowest setting of brightness. The button to turn them on is also just right in here, um, which means that there's really low chance of turning it off while you're using them, which is great. So it comes with a remote, which all of the Pyroterra FT products do. And the remote allows you to shift among colors and also color modes, like there's a pulse mode and a fade mode, which is really pretty. You can also change the brightness levels and you can use the remote to access any programs that you've made for the fans. Um, there's four different libraries. You can store four different programs at the same time. And I'll get back to that a little bit later. And they come in this really sweet bag, which um, I wish was a little bit bigger. Um, just because I feel like I sometimes get the fans caught on it a little bit, on the zipper, but it's really nice and really durable. So what do the fans look like? Well, they're super bright, just like all of the Pyroterra products, but the light is kind of diffused across the entire prop instead of having um, really bright concentrated color on like times like some of the LED fans have. And so that kind of makes them more, I think, elegant and sort of fairy-like. Each fan is actually split into two halves, so you can set one half to be one color and one half to be another color. Because they're really big, they're really attention-grabbing. Anytime I've taken them anywhere, people are really drawn to them, whether it's to a gig or to a spin jam. Um, just the fact that they're um, big and bright and look really novel um, and unique, I think draws people to them. I would say that because of the way they move, they have more of like a dreamlike or peaceful feeling to them as opposed to really high energy and rave-like. Um, I mean, you can program them to have really flashy rainbow patterns and you can spin them fast. Um, I just find them to be sort of, again, more peaceful and fairy-like. As a performer, even if I had another pair of LED fans, which I do, I would probably still look into buying these because they're almost a whole different prop. Um, they just look so different and I think can be used for different themes and characters, can go well with different costumes. How they feel? They're Russian fans, so they're pretty big. Um, I think they're not too terribly heavy for the size that they are. I like the weight of them and um, I like the balance of them. I don't feel like I'm getting pulled in weird directions by them or that they're going to kind of tip one way when I want them to be going a different way. Um, you know, they are still heavy because uh, they're Russian fans and so, you know, if you have shoulder problems or something like that, they might not be the best choice for you. Um, you might want to sort of ramp up your spinning with them because your shoulders are probably going to burn for a while after using them if you're not used to Russian fans. They're made out of anodized aluminum. The handle feels great. Um, it's really smooth. I can stop the, the fans really easily, like on a dime. Um, tosses feel great. Are you going to be able to do some of the really intricate tech that you can do with smaller tech fans? No. Um, really, pretty much anything that you can do with Russian fans, I assume you can do with these fans as well. The experience of spinning them is just really nice. Like It feels like they're kind of floating, almost. I will say that if you're trying to spin outside uh, and it's really windy out, that can kind of be problematic because 
um, they're almost like sails. Like you can get kind of carried away by them. Because they're heavy, they can definitely hurt if they hit you. Like if they hit you in the head or the hips. Um, not that that's ever happened to me. Nope. Um, like this part right here, it's, you know, it's kind of pointy and it's not gonna feel good. Like I mentioned before, they're made out of anodized aluminum, so uh, very strong material, and uh, I haven't had any issues with the frame itself uh, bending or warping. Uh, I have had a little bit of an issue with some of the color here chipping off. Um, fairly unnoticeable, but it is something to note. Uh, I have dropped them a fair number of times and all of the lights are still working. I'm sure that if you drop them enough, they're still liable to break at some point. Um, one of the great things about Pyroterra, at least I've found, is they have really good customer service. Uh, I think anytime you're investing in an LED prop, you want to be certain that somebody's going to be there to fix them if you need it. About the fabric covers. So this is, I think, the thing that maybe I like the least about these, but I'm not really sure, you know, what can be done about it. So they can definitely get dirty fairly easily. I mean, I've used them a lot and you can look at them and not really notice much, but there's definitely like little spots of dirt and whatnot. You can wash them too. I haven't done that yet, um, but you can just hand wash them or wash them in, um, on the cold, gentle cycle. I've noticed that there are some very small holes um, starting to form on the fabric and that's just kind of like on the edges and corners and I'm not sure if it's because of the material inside trying to like push through or um, like I mentioned before the bag that they come in is like just the right size for them so it might be that the like zipper is getting caught a little bit on it. One of the neat features of the LED moon fans is that they are programmable and I love the Pyroterra uh, programming. They use something called LT Composer um, and I'm going to show it to you uh, really briefly. But it's just super intuitive, super elegant. Um, it's definitely the best programming system I've come across um, in dealing with LED props. You will have a track that you're working on um, and you can drag any of these different things up in the left hand corner down there and um, this is solid so I can make it any solid color I'm gonna make it pink um, and then you can do a gradient so a nice fade um, so let's see to make it more obvious I'm gonna do a fade from a uh, dark blue to a lime green and then I don't know maybe I want some purple and then we're gonna go rainbow flash time and then strobe mode which I'm gonna put on an obnoxious orange. And no offense to anyone who likes the color orange. And then another thing you can do is, um, because this is an AV device, um, oops, I need to do that. You can set the two halves of the fans to be something different from each other. So I'm gonna do pink and blue. Uploading is really simple. You just have to make sure that both fans are turned on, your remote is turned on, and your remote is connected to your computer. So I've recognized both my fans and I'm going to store this program in the first library. So right now I have the left fan highlighted, so it's gonna be programming that one. And it was real quick because it's such a short program. And then I'm going to do the right fan. Again, super quick.
My final takeaway is I really enjoy the look and feel of these fans. I've had a lot of success with them at gigs so far. They're currently selling for $370 on the Paraterra website. So, you know, I think that's a great value. I'm also a full-time performer, so for me it's an investment. Uh, it's really just going to depend on your style of spinning and what your goals are for your LED fans. But uh, I hope you'll check them out and see if they're a good idea for you. And I hope that this video was helpful. Bye!